haven't had a perm in maybe three months now. It don't look that bad. At least you can see my scalp here, but in the back, y'all, you probably can't see in the back. But. And, it's, and it is the regular. But y'all, thick as my hair is, I really need a super. But is my relaxer. Relaxer itself. Put your activator in with your cream. Shampoo it. I feel like they need to put more in these bars. Here is the mayonnaise. This is good stuff. It really makes your hair soft after applying your um, relaxer to your hair. I do not use this um, olive oil creamy moisturizer. I feel real heavy and weighed down and greasy like. So I really don't care for olive oil products. But this perm I do care for. Stick in your instructions inside. And ladies you already know. Scratching but my scalp has been itchy. Um, It's time for me. You gotta have that wrist work. Just like you're baking a cake y'all. When I bake it. Y'all can see me better. So, y'all, I finished on it, but I didn't want to show y'all the entire perming process because I'm sure that you are, you guys already know how to perm your hair. But, <clears throat> again, um, I've watched plenty of videos on here about um, perming and all of that, and it kind of gets boring once a person doing the same thing, parting their hair, putting applying the uh, product on their hair. So, you guys, I didn't want to bore y'all with this. So, I have permed it. You see product in the middle right here. But, yeah, um, stay tuned for my washing and my um, applying my conditioner to my hair. So, yeah, you guys, stay tuned. We must shampoo. It is my shampoo. Hi, y'all. <laughs> Pink, so that means... <laughs> So it means that you, I mean, I still have perm in my hair. And of course I do because, um, show pink first because you haven't got all that product about your hair. So I'll be back, you guys, once I wash it out and try to wash some of this product about my hair. I don't know whether all the product is out my hair. I really do. I can't really tell whether the product, all the product is gone. I'm about to get some of my Dove and just be sure um, get some Dove and apply. Lather it up. Looking a little goofy, but that's okay. I am lathered. I'm about to wash this Dove shampoo out my hair y'all so I am back y'all um a bottom of my hair and I want to change this old raggedy shirt um I'm going to now apply some of this conditioner I will be complying applying this hair mayonnaise you guys and it you have to leave it on I normally leave it on for like 10 minutes or so the intense I ain't gonna say intense because you'll leave it on a little longer, but just to get the product up in my hair to apply shine and moisture to make my hair soft. So, you guys, I'm gonna show you how I apply it, and then I will get back with you 10 minutes later and just let you see. It also helps detangle your hair, y'all. It um, snugs and pulls, so stay tuned, y'all. Too um, good for you to mess up or whatever. And you guys, this color in my hair, I had dyed my hair a year ago, and it's just an old color, so. You guys, I am about to get ready, I guess, pour it and apply the conditioner on there, so. Stay tuned. So, y'all, I didn't pour it very good, but um, you can kind of see. Um, I should have got in two perms, y'all, because my hair is super thick. And y'all, I told y'all, three months, y'all, um, without getting a perm. So, that's the reason why it looks a little crazy. It doesn't look like straight, straight, but I'm going to apply a little bit. 
in my hand. I'm just gonna rub it. This condition mayonnaise, it really, you see how I can comb through it? It's so thick, but I can comb through it, y'all. So this the product is in my hair. Um, I have not blow dried it yet, but it got straight in the roots, which was I was you know aiming for, but it didn't get as straight as I wanted to up in here, just scratching it a lot. So like I said, I hate permanent anyway it takes up a lot of time not so this is it back i wish y'all could see the back look but can you see it